Hey everybody, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly resize a lot of images using your terminal on your Mac. Um, now, I understand a lot of people don't like to use a terminal. I used to not like to use it a lot. Um, so if you're looking for another way to resize a lot of images, uh, like in an application or something, I do have another video where I show how to do that in an application called Picasa. So if you're interested in that, I will post a link to that video in the description. Um, but with that said, I've never seen an easier way to resize a lot of images uh, than this method that I'm going to show you in the terminal. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and get started. You can see here on my desktop, I have three folders, large, medium, and small. If I open up this large folder, all of these images that I have in here, if I open these up in a preview, uh, then you can see that they're all high resolution, high resolution, uh, large photos. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, what if we want to, maybe for your website, you want a large version of a photo, a medium version, and a small version. That happens a lot, especially whenever you're doing galleries and you need thumbnails or something like that. Um, so let's go ahead and I'm going to show you two different ways in how to do this. If we open up this medium folder, uh, the first way I'm going to show you is by altering the original photo. So I'm going to copy these and then I'm going to paste them into this medium folder. And now these are still the same large photos in the medium folder. So now let's close this down. And now in my terminal here, I'm going to, right now I'm on my desktop, if I do an ls command, you can see this medium folder here. I'm going to change directory directory into the medium folder. Now if I do another ls command, now you can see all of my JPEG images. Now the, the command that I'm going to use to change the size of all these photos is super easy. It's just SIPS SIPS and then this capital Z option and what that capital Z option does is it maintains the aspect ratio because we don't want our pictures um, you know getting elongated or anything like that with weird widths and heights so we wanted to maintain that aspect ratio um, so since this is a medium picture let's set this to 640 pixels um, and the what we want to change is everything in this folder that's what the star is the wildcard so everything in this folder with a dot JPEG and that's it let's just go ahead and hit enter and you see it'll go ahead and start that list and go through all those images. Now if I come over here to my folder and I select all these files and preview them, now you can see that they're all resized to 640 pixels. Um, so now let me show you how to do this um, without altering the original. So first let me change directory back to my um, large folder with all the large original images. And if you remember, last time whenever we did the medium photos, first we copied all the larges and put them into the medium folder. Um, but now I'm going to show you, we're in the large folder, and I'm going to show you how to um, resize these images and put them directly into the small folder uh, without doing any copying first. So I'm just going to hit the up arrow a couple of times in my terminal to get back to that SIPS command. And now, since we're going to do the small photos, I'm going to take these down to about 300 pixels. And now it's the exact same command, but right now we're in the large folder. If we hit enter right now, it would overwrite all of our large images with the 300 pixel images. Um, but instead, you can put this out option onto the end, and that's going to be an output directory of where all these images go. So I can just put this onto my desktop. And within the desktop, I'm going to put that in this directory called small. So I'll go ahead and hit enter. And you can see it goes through all those images. And now if I go over here and open up my small folder, then we can see all the pictures are here. And if I open them up in preview, you can see that they are small 300 pixel images. And so now basically at this point, if all you were trying to do is resize your images, then you're done. You have your... Um, folder here with your large and then your medium and your small and you can resize those to any pixel amounts that you want. Uh, one thing I want to add on here though is usually when people do this and they do large, medium, and small versions of their files, uh, usually they also want to uh, rename the files uh, because they don't, if they're putting them up on their web server, uh, they want their 
large, medium, and smalls to all be named something different. Um, so that's a little outside of the scope of this video. So I'm going to show you how to do it, but I'm not going to really explain it very, uh, very much. I have this command here that I've just copied and pasted in here. And let me go into first, let me go change directory into my small folder. And I'm going to rename all of these. So let me open this up. And right now, if I was to do an ls on this directory, you can see that these are all named exactly the same thing that my large images are named. Now, if we wanted to distinguish these and say, um, okay, let me clear this out. Okay, now, um, pretty much what this does is it finds all the files in this current directory that I'm in. You have to make sure that you're in your small directory if you run this command because you don't want it to uh, uh, change files that you don't plan it to change. But within the directory uh, that I want to change the file names, um, I execute this statement here that pretty much it uh, will disregard the extension right here and then it's going to tack on a 300 and then it's going to also add back the extension here at the end. So if I hit enter there and now I rerun that ls command again, now you can see that all the file names here have a 300 tacked onto the end of it. Um, so yeah, I, maybe I'll make a video that uh, kind of explains uh, the bulk renaming um, in more in advance, but I thought it was something I should also add to the uh, bulk image resizing since it's most likely something that uh, people are going to want to do with all their resized images is also uh, rename those with the new image sizes. So that about does it. I uh, hope that this tutorial was useful for you guys. If you guys have any questions about this stuff, feel free to ask in the comments section below. Um, be sure to subscribe for future videos and uh, thank you for watching.